G'day friends, hello, welcome to Xris Art. My name is Chrissy. thanks for joining me today. Well, I, you know, we're almost there with this project. Um, okay, for all of those um, that haven't been following, this has been, uh, this is part five of how to paint a pumpkin. And it was sort of uh, paint, you know, just sort of in the, um, in the Halloween month and of course now I'm up to the details and of course well it's not a scary pumpkin is it but a pumpkin nonetheless and uh, there's just a few little bits and pieces which I wanted to um, get cracking on and before I go into some of the details but just to let you know uh, this is uh, this is a pan pastel with pastel pencils on pastel mat pastel mat anthracite 30 centimeters by 24 centimeters although the painting is not that it's it's smaller uh, the painting is say 25 centimeters by 20 centimeters so um, it's a cute little um, size and uh, one where you can um, it's a good size for practicing and trying to figure out how to use pan pastels uh, also uh, we're doing some techniques with um, you know soft blurry backgrounds doing details and stuff like that but i just wanted to say hello to all of our friends g'day Ange. hello hi cherry hi lindy hi shandry hi nuria hi brenda yeah i wanted to do this but i picked up a puppy i know that takes up your time i know that um yes all right i'm going to get cracking with this um well you know lots been happening in the last few days with pan pastels but i'm sure we'll talk about that in a little bit um all right so um i need to do uh this i need to do the well the stem and just here and that won't take long <laughs> famous last words i know i say that but famous last words um, hi Ali, good morning, good morning. Uh, I am well, thank you. Ali is asking me how I am going this morning or today. I am going well. Um, um, yes, all right. So some of the colors that I've got around me are the, um, uh, let me see, the turquoise, uh, the tur turquoise group, the red iron oxide group, I've got um, my orange around, I've got my phthalo around, I've got my chrome, is that I always get chrome green and permanent green mixed up. You think that after all these years that I could tell, but yeah, they're so similar, That's, I think this is why. Um, my chrome green, uh, my Hansa, uh, Hansa yellow, where are you? Uh, Hansa yellow group when I say group in, instead of saying Hansa yellow Hansa yellow tint Hansa yellow shade or Hansa yellow extra dark I always refer to them if I'm f referring to them as a whole I all and that's me that's me it's not no no one else is calling them that I just call it the group um, yeah so all right uh, I hope everyone's week has been going really well. Um, mine's been going really good. Um, getting involved in lots of... Um, I've got my new day job going and uh, it's been going really, really well. So... <laughs> um, okay. Um, I, what I need to do is uh, just paint this stem and then there's this stem here and then there's these little bits and pieces here that's a stem and a little bit of the um of the pumpkin so i'll just get cracking colors that i'm probably will be using uh something dark i'd say the black in there with actually i'm going to use the burnt sienna extra dark there um just mixing it now i've got my my mixing palette close by uh, close by here we go and just apply very quickly 
Um, okay, I, <laughs> I knew someone. Yeah, I saw a post of Golden Paints on Instagram. And uh, did they have a partnership with Pan Pastels? I was a bit unsure about that. We'll talk about that. Uh, yes, you did. You were correct in saying that you saw a post. Uh, Golden has um, bought Pan Pastel. It's all, the news has all happened this week. And so um, I, I'm excited. I, I just think there's um, this medium is absolutely wonderful. And I feel that um, uh, uh, Golden uh, will uh, take care of um, uh, the medium, and who knows what could happen? Maybe we, could, maybe there might be new colours coming in. Oh, look, the, there's so much potential. So exciting! It's very, very exciting. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I think. Um, you know see what happens wait till the dust settles and um, yeah so it should be really interesting yes yes so no you were correct in um, seeing that post um, it's exciting stuff I think it's extremely exciting so I can't wait I can't wait to see what happens next what do you think will happen next I mean I don't know um, but yes very exciting um, uh, yes um, it was good color um, Yes, uh, Shandria, I saw your lovely painting. I'm so happy that you're able, you know, by hook or by crook. And that's what I call passion. That is what I call passion. You know. Yes. Uh, I wonder uh, if they will bring out a travel set. That's interesting. Um, you know, it's the, the tra think about think about the travel set I was uh, because I know that Avogad I know we talked about this here on this channel and how it would be good if that if if that was a thing you got to think about the packaging too like for example you know they've got to you've got to think about it from a business point of view um, you know some would say well travel well why don't you just you know, I mean, these do screw on top of each other, yes. And, but, um, but then I think it was Avigail that was talking about probably, uh, you know, like a small, small size pan set and maybe a set of colors in a what could look like maybe a watercolor type style thing going. You know what I mean? It could probably be you know this size for example and have maybe I don't know 12 colors or something you know what I mean you'd have all your primaries and then you'd have yeah it would be interesting but imagine the packaging how much would that cost for it to make it viable and would everyone buy it you know they'd have to be doing something like a business module or schedule to see I don't know what the term is um, the accounting term is but um, you know there's you, you would have to think of all of those costs that and you know you and as well trying to keep the you know the cost low so for the consumer you know what I mean so th they would be thinking about all of these sorts of things so but it's a very very good uh, talking point I would say cherry and yes it's you know I, I think anyway it's very interesting that you bring that up because it's a, you know, I, I think it would be a really good thing, but you know, you just don't know, is it worthwhile? 
you know. Um, but very exciting to see what's going to happen. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm I'm excited. You know, the product is wonderful, and it can only get better, couldn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, Cheryl, oh, you made it. I can't believe it. I can't believe you made it because you're always talking about um, trying to catch me on stream. Welcome. Um, okay, Ali says more colors needed in pan pastel, uh, in pan pastels, especially fluorescent colors. That's interesting. Uh, they've got the pearlescent ones, you know, they've got those, um, you know, but of course, you know, imagine having like those really like fuchsia or some hot pink or like interesting i mean who knows what will happen um and um and cherry says uh if it was like a watercolor set you would you could maybe replace ones as needed and yes that would be like how good is that that would be so cool you know oh yeah definite oh look definite i agree i i think that would be really cool um, definite. Okay. Just touching some areas up here. So we've got that down. Got to do this, this, that little bit there, and that little bit there, and we're into the details. Um, just putting down the layers. Um, yes. yeah so what do you think will happen oh it's interesting mm -hmm. i wouldn't know i mean i wouldn't know your guess is as good as mine um yeah And don't forget, I mean, the creators of Pan Pastel, um, very clever people. Do you know what I mean? They're very, very clever people. So, um, yeah. Creating, I mean, creating a product like this, an art product like this. Just amazing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you could become the new spokesperson. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Miss Chrissy have a chat. Well, I know a lot about the product. I mean, there's no two ways about that. I only get confused with chrome green and permanent green. But other than that, I, I know a lot about the product. Um, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? Oh, that, that would be hilarious. Could you imagine? Ah. <laughs> oh well you never know wouldn't it be nice oh there's a lot of people there's a lot of um i mean there's artists that could talk about the product but um well i suppose i've been using this for a very long time and it's not something i've just picked up in the last one or two years. I have been using them for a long time. So I understand what you mean, but yes. Uh, I'm probably, um, I mean, I like to be creative with the pans, you know, so, and there's a lot of people that are really creative and my mind just goes, wow, how did you think of that? So look, but you just don't know, do you? Yeah. You just don't know. Um, Ali says, Chrissy, now we need a coloured pencil brand in partnership with Golden Pump. 
Faber's yes. So maybe Derwin or Faber Castell or Karen Dart. Who knows? Um, if it's meant to be, it will be. There it will be. There you go. There you go. Yes. Oh look, I'll always talk about this because it's a product that I love and enjoy, uh, regardless. You know, so I'd like to see more colours. I think if if I'd like to see more colours, and I think that travel set is a really good idea. But is it financially viable? Another story. So I'm not talking about because I wouldn't I wouldn't know the financial side and what what it takes to I mean to us in our minds you know um, a travel set poof, you think about that and it's a great idea but then when you go into it there's the the machines that make the actual trays um, you know there's the marketing side of it there's the you know like for example the machines that make these um, like the containers um, yeah look you'd need a machine that, that does that again do you see what I mean this is what I'm trying to say is that there's all of that that's involved yeah um, Debbie hello welcome nice to see you hello everyone raining cats and dogs in Oregon well it has been raining cats and dogs here but not this week so much we've had a little bit of a rest from rain but yes totally get it um, okay now not to mention the high winds yes we've had that as I don't know <laughs> we've had the same thing here as well um, yes exactly passion comes through Chrissy I love colored pencils yeah I love colored pencils too <gasps> oh my gosh there's so much, isn't there? There's so much. Look at me, holding all of these things. Um, now, I'm not being um, terribly uh, detailed in the background here. Um, I just want to put pastel where I've missed. And of course, it's blurry. So I will be passing a brush over and blurring everything here. Uh, I just want to make sure that I haven't missed out on so, um, all these bits here which require my attention and it's only these little ones that I missed I can't believe I missed them um, and uh, um, okay maybe for a travel set they should put it in a, cylind uh, a cylindrical body well that's what these are so you can slide the pan pastels in and out maybe you know possibilities are endless uh, the other half can store the tools and equipment. Oh, yes, that's very good. The only thing I would think of, the reason why they were, um, the others were saying a travel set is that you could sort of open it up and put it down or maybe hold it, like if you're plain air painting. I mean, you could have the big trays, like the big trays, but we're talking about a small travel set, aren't we? So, how, how yeah. But interesting, look, but possibilities are endless here, you know. All ideas are good ideas and interesting ideas. Yes. Um, Seju. <laughs> Hello, blast from the past. <laughs> Hello, dear friend. How are you today? Hope all is well. <laughs> nice to see you here. You all right? <laughs> um... Uh, okay, uh, and Cherry says, today they lifted the hose pipe ban. Oh, from, really? Oh, is that, is it, you call it hose pipe, do you? We call it, um, when there's a water ban, we just call it, um, yeah, we just call it a water ban. You call it a hose pipe ban. Oh, like as in when you're hosing your cement or, you know, you're or watering your plants and stuff like that. I think that's what you mean. Um, and Cheryl says, yes. Uh, yes, grateful we can all indulge and overindulge. Oh, yes. Um, most definite. Uh, and just, you know, uh, also wanted to talk about uh, Share Your Art with X-Risart. 
Share Your Art with Xris Art is a Facebook group where we continue the conversation uh, from the stream. Uh, so just, you know, uh, the description is, um, the links are in the description box below. So for those who are interested, um, we, we have all kinds of things going. We talk about uh, our projects. We t um, that particular Facebook group is where we share our art. We share our, um, um, our ideas. If you have an interesting video or if you have an interesting post that the group might, you know, might be interesting um, for them to know about, you know, feel free to uh, go ahead and um, uh, post. And um, yes, you know, and because sometimes we talk about our art and uh, we talk about what we've been doing, and you know, that's a place where we can do that. So go ahead and um, become a member. <laughs> um, uh, become a member. Uh, also, I do have a Patreon channel for those who are interested. Um, Sorry, I'm getting all the business out of the way. <laughs> uh, I do have a Patreon channel where we um, paint in step-by-step uh, -step real time uh, projects and uh, quite unique uh, projects. And we also, you know, where we um, where you see uh, where you see things really happen. Where you you know, I get to talk about what's going on in my head with the art that is. Um, uh, yes, so <laughs> that's another thing altogether, isn't it? Uh, so, you know, go ahead and become a patron um, for as little as two cups of coffee a month. How about that? And you get and you get uh, 12 hours a month of art. So um, I think it's well worth it, I think. Um, Sorry, just um, getting through all of this bit here. This is the bit where... Uh, almost there. Um, let me see. Sergio. Okay, just came back from the local opera house. Listen to the sound of music. Oh, wow. Uh, it was nice, but only made me want to re-watch the 1965 classic. You know how many times I've seen that? I've seen that 50 million times. And I... And I can see it again and again. Yes. Um, man, how I miss Christopher Plummer. I know. He was so handsome, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Um, yes. Yes, so there you go. All right. All right. Let's. Okay. Have I filled everything in? Yes, I have. All right, let's just put these away. And I'm going to start with the details. And the detail will be with this pumpkin. Um, and I'm using little brushes and I'm going to use textured brushes, which I have, you know, been creative with. These are cheap. I don't know cheap hog hair brushes which I've hacked up for previous projects and feel that they are probably useful for here I wanted to create texture now the way the part that's in detail is the stem and of course this pumpkin but then there's the stem of this pumpkin that's sitting here then there's sort of like a middle detail here and then the rest is blurry. Oh, and there's a little bit here, right? But it's just really in this this triangle, actually, when, when we talk about yeah, this triangle. So, so I will just... Um, continue. And of course, I've, with my palette here, my um, mixing palette, Um, 
Yes, and I'm trying to make sure that I go real dark. I mean, here, and it's something that, you know, you, we always think about, ooh, we always stop ourselves from going darker than we should, so definitely we'll be going darker here. And I've got to be careful not to make mud because a lot of these uh, colours, if I'm not careful, um, I'll create mud. So I've got to be careful where I put all of these colours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just close the door, it's quite noisy out there. Yes, and so the brushes that I'm using, uh, some people ask me what kind of brushes do you use? I mean, there's lots. I use these Eco Tool Makeup brushes. I use brushes that are the synthetic. This is the Royal uh, Langnickel number two. Um, it's all about the snap. So it doesn't matter which brush you pick up. I mean, of course, I use the soft tools. I use everything. I'll use everything. I'll use the sponges. I'll use everything. Uh, anything that's going to give me the outcome I'm looking for. Because, and by using the bristle brushes, I get to use the pan pastels longer. You know, I can get to, I have painted using bristle brushes 100% pan pastel. And it's all about. Um, you know, using different size brushes. So, yeah. So now I'm just um, putting in more colour and um, uh, okay. You, Cherry, I still struggle with my darks. I'm, you know what? I think we all do. I think we all do. I think, you know, um, and I think it's knowing when to stop. I think that's the thing. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl says, Chrissy, have, have, sorry, Chrissy, have or do you keep and use your mixing palettes and join them together and use as a base for a painting? <gasps> what a good idea. I never thought of that. When I clean off my brushes onto a piece of paper, then, uh, then create from there. You know what? You are. That is a fabulous idea. Check this out. These are all my painting palettes. But it's interesting how, because I've been doing skin tones, um, look, there's different. It's really interesting how you say that. But I must, um, yeah, some of them, it's interesting. So, see, look, I mean, how creative, how creative is that? What a great idea. Uh, no, the answer is no, I haven't um, thought about that, but um, bloody good idea. Yes. Um, this is where I start to build. Um, <laughs> Janice, hi! Hi everyone, sorry I'm late, had a family birthday dinner to go to and just got home. Hello, hello, how are you going? Hope, hope you're well. Yes. Abigail, hi. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi there, Chrissy and friends. I forgot about the changing of... Oh, yes, there is that. 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> is it really late there? What time is it? What actually? Oh, that, that's right. Shandri and you are in the same country. What time is it in the Netherlands? I'm interested now. What time is it? Because I'm losing track because I know some countries we're not we don't go all back to the same uh, time zone as oh okay 10:30. that's not so bad that's all right if you're a night owl we changed last week, okay. I mean, it's Friday night. You don't have to go to work the next day, so I suppose it's all right. Well, for those who are working. Um, okay, here. I've got orange. Sorry. I've got orange here, and I want to mix it because some areas are really bright. I want to see there's a little bit of black in this, you see. And of course there's a little bit of white in this, so I might get the color that I want. That's it. There it is there. Sort of like a dirty orange color, you know. Yeah. Um, in hang on Malaga in Malaga did I say it right Nuria in Malaga it's 10.30 in the UK it's 9.30 there you go ah, wow yeah it is a good time yeah Yeah. So what has everyone got planned for the weekend? Maybe arting. Maybe arting. Okay. Um I'm not I'm not sure about I'm not sure about using the tint on this side of the pumpkin. It's actually quite light, but it's sort of not too saturated. So I'm going to go for my trusty, you know, uh, raw umber tint. Uh, And it's just about here. Okay, Chrissy. Uh, <laughs> Chrissy, you speak very good Spanish. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> uh, I think you know what I love. Um, there's some really lovely languages that I could just sit there and listen and like I, I mean I can't understand it of course like French um, oh, I could sit they could be swearing at me they could be telling me off in French and I'd go oh gee that sounds nice <laughs> do you know what I mean um, Italian as well oh all of these there it's Spanish as well Ah, uh, yes. All of these. I mean, there are so many languages which I think are absolutely gorgeous to listen. Like, you know, not, you know, just the, the sound of it. Yeah. Probably being silly here. Uh, um, 
Okay, so let me see. Okay, Chrissy, I admire your patience. I have to finish my project in one evening or my mood is changed and I don't want to do it anymore. Well, you know, that's really interesting. Uh, and I think this is why I can have maybe, which I do have, one, two, three, I have about four, four on the go. And yes, oh, um, as, and this is why we're all very different, you know, our, you know, we're all very, very different and we work differently. But it's interesting how you bring that up, I suppose. Yeah. It's just that I've still, you know what it's interesting is that I've still got the project in my head. And, you know, it's very few times, considering the amount of work that I've done, um, very f there's like, a, you know, maybe probably about 2% of the work that I've done where I haven't finished. Um, oh, actually, I've got another one. I've got five on the go where I haven't finished. And there's one where maybe there's more on the go. Um, no, there's more. There is more. I'm just trying to think of them now. But but they're still in my head. That's what I'm trying to say. They, they're they not out of my head yet. And so I'm, I'm still okay with them. But it's interesting how you say that. Um, uh, Janice, oh, okay, Janice, you're arting tomorrow. Hopefully new painting on the horizon. Um, okay, Cheryl, it's 10.30 a.m. That's right, because you're a couple of hours ahead of us in New Zealand. Uh, Saturday, yep, Saturday here too. And keep pets uh, enclosed tonight, fireworks. Ooh, finishing off your um, your Aboriginal uh, people. Ooh, be interesting. You have to uh, post on, uh, share your art with x Um Okay, uh, Avagal says, I was going to play with my polymer clay this evening. Yesterday I've made some wax seals. Ooh. But you know what, Avigail, I know that, you know how you say that about, you know, for like when you start it, you've got to finish it. But you do some incredible stuff, like, you know, you've filled your sketchbooks, whereas I'm nowhere near. I've got so many sketchbooks um, and you're filling them, which is fantastic. And it's a really nice thing to go back and have a look at what you do. So, yeah. Horsewoman, hi, visiting mum and heading home tomorrow. Okay, hope all is well where you are. Um, uh, Guy Fawkes? Who's Guy Fawkes? Okay, November 5th is Guy Fawkes night. Oh, okay. All right. Didn't I don't know who Guy Fawkes is, but um, um, I'm going to mix a bit of Hansa yellow and a bit of the green because there's a patch of bright green here. So right now I'm just putting in, I'm building, I'm building with this pumpkin and uh, building more layers before I actually go in with pastel pencil and uh, these brushes allow me to go quite far. So uh, putting more in, more colours in. Okay, Angie's. I'm plan. Uh, I plan on painting. It is Friday, so uh, Friday. Okay, quarter to six in the evening. Yes. So this is what I mean. Like, uh, in the northern hemisphere, it's either afternoon or evening. Yes. Um, I've done about eight drawings this week. There you go. You know, so cool. Uh, oh, good day, Kathy. Hello, my dear. How are you going? Um, 
Oh, okay. Uh, Janice, yes, thank you. How was the new job? Well, uh, I mentioned, yeah, I've mentioned it. I mentioned earlier that I was, I was at the new job. But yes, no, the new job's going really well. I'm really, really happy. Imagine being surrounded with a ton of art supplies. I don't know if I could get complacent in that place. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, when you see a lot of art supplies around, you start to get a bit complacent. Well, I'm not sure if I'm... Well, I'm not yet. You know what? I actually... I'll tell you what. I saw, and it's something which I'm, uh, which I'm thinking of, calligraphy. Now, I know, Abigail, you've been doing calligraphy. So, and I've had a look at some of the sets and they're not, they're not the sets that you see normally, you know what I mean? And then there's all of these different papers for calli calligraphy to learn how to, that is a whole new world altogether. I just need a steady hand. Maybe I might, yeah, I need a steady hand. Um, did you drool? Of course I did. <laughs> Janice. Hello. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I did. And it was interesting. I was actually having a look at um, the Canson... Uh, I was... Uh, the Canson... Um, the touch paper I was um, looking at that as well and I'm thinking what potential projects because I've got some here uh, what potential projects uh, could I do and that's the thing like I'm immersed in all of these art these art supplies that it, it it's just inspiring I'm thinking and I go Chrissy you can't start anything you cannot start anything until you finish these these ones. So I do have, but I have got like a ton of stuff going on in my brain that's coming up. Oh. I think I'd rather, and we'll see, I'd rather have this problem where I've got a ton of stuff to do with all of these ideas, right? With no time, okay, no time with no time rather than all the time in the world and be stuck with ideas so I'd rather have this problem that I'm having <laughs> where I've got no time so yes thank you for asking Janice uh, because you don't have enough oh, <laughs> on your plate you need to learn uh, uh, you need to learn calligraphy I know I know <laughs> I suppose it's I'm getting influenced by what I'm looking at because I had a look at the paper and I don't know if you're from the generation where we used to learn and what we call it I don't know what other countries call it but when I was a child learning how to we call it modified cursive you know where we were where we used to call it running writing when we were little kids right uh, and because I, I think these days people aren't, you know, they're not writing as much as they used to because, of course, we've got computers and people type more than they do write. So therefore, and I've seen some people that write shockingly. I'm not saying that I write nicely. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that back in those days you learned how to, you know, do you know, just beautiful modified cursive, right? And so when I saw this paper, it reminded me of when I was a little girl and where we used to do some running writing. That's how we used to call it, running writing. Um, love calligraphy. Uh, uh, do uh, to uh, love calligraphy do embellished letters yeah adore illuminated letters in books and such mastery oh yes and it's there's 
it's like an absolute technique um, about it, isn't it? Like it's just not something that, you know, takes a bit of practice. And, um, you know, you know, there's... <laughs> um, uh, so what did you call it, Cherry? You called it copper plate. We ca you called it copper plate. I don't think they even teach cursive anymore, do they? Yeah. I don't know if they do or not. So, so what, in Canada, you, you called it cursive, Janice? Is that what you called it when you were little? Um, yeah, because that's what we call it, cursive. Mo and we called it modified cursive. Um, yeah. Um, in a hundred years, they'll find letters in cursive and no one will be able to read them. You know what? I think you're right. Um, I think you're right because I, I think we we have trouble reading um, uh, people writing, you know, like um, uh, like in these old manuscripts and things like that where people used to write things and of course um, ledgers and stuff like that and you know you'd have to you'd have to properly concentrate so I suppose you're right Janice that in a hundred years time they're not going to be able to read um, our writing yeah uh, yeah oh yes cursive okay cool um, Abigail says Chrissy have you Chrissy you have a nib pen yes I do an ink just try you'll do really well and if you don't like it you don't tell anyone <laughs> But I think you will. <laughs> well, you know me. I've got a big mouth. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> uh, and you still write that way, Cheryl. Oh, wow. Wow. I think it's beautiful, to be honest. I really do. Yeah, so this is what I saw. I saw a really beautiful set. And nibs. and I, I do have. I do have nibs, but... Um, but I, I've got to be frank with you. I've got. I'm working on some my old projects that need finishing. So, but you know, doesn't doesn't hurt to um, ooh, doesn't hurt to practice a little bit. Does it? <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, the children here that learn to write cursive, it helps them to not write mirrored mirrored letters. Um, yeah, my parents demolished a house and found an old doctor's log book from the early 1900s now that would have been interesting uh, it was all written in ink and quill oh, it really was it really was a beautiful writing oh wow uh, Nuria says I love to write um, I do it every day in my diary oh that's wonderful <gasps> oh that's nice oh that's lovely Maybe that's what I should start doing, writing in my diary. Okay, you know what, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Something nice to look back on. Uh, 
Um, Sherry says, after I learnt shorthand, my handwriting went to pot. Okay. <laughs> well, that's right, because, you know, shorthand, that's like another language altogether, honestly. <laughs> we had shorthand here as well. But um, that was one thing that I didn't learn, I have to say. Yeah, I didn't take that. It was It was offered, but I didn't do it. It was offered. Yeah, decided not to. Now I'm telling you, when I'm doing the, when I'm doing uh, this this area here, I'm actually quite careful in what colours and where they're going and how I'm placing them because there's greens and browns and the reds and the greens and as we know. Red and green make this brown, and I don't want that. I've got to be careful here, right? Because the turquoise has green in it, like this blue, green, and red. Look at that. I've got to be careful. I don't want it to make purple. So, for those who are who sometimes worry about, you know, mixing colors and what will happen, so color wheel is also very good to have handy around you um oh shorthand was so much fun uh code language yes oh hang on i've missed a few um okay it's a safe space here uh you can tell us wax seals go well with calligraphy and a feather mm. <laughs> yes it is a safe group yes you can almost say anything here uh sure uh, yeah okay my issue was i'm left-handed oh yeah and the ink yeah, if you're left-handed, yes. Yeah, you'd have to somehow, yeah. And biros, here here we go. There's another another word. Um, for people that don't understand, well, the, the Aussies and the Kiwis, we pretty much understand each other a lot because we talk very similar. And I don't know if you know what a biro means. A biro... Interesting how you bring this up, Cheryl. A biro is a pen, just a pen. But we used to call them biros. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's all coming out. Um, um, yes, okay. Um, oh, shorthand. Yeah, oh, hang on. I read that. I feel, yep. Yeah. Uh, Abigail says, Nuria, I did, okay, for 10 years. Oh, okay. My mum did shorthand and used to write things secretly, but she forgot I could read it. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Um, That's so funny. Uh, Janice says, Chrissy, uh, will you finish the pumpkins today? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm going to get close, I think. <laughs> Funny lady. <laughs> I'm going to, it was the idea to finish it. It's always the idea. Um, oh, I would have said a biro was a pencil. There you go. Uh, yeah. Biros, I thought it was a typo for birds. No, no, a biro. That's how, yep. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do I start? Yes, that's so funny. Okay, I'm bringing out the pastel pencils. Let's see how far I can get to finishing. 
but I'm not rushing it. Um, um, okay, uh, showing my year, no, you're not showing your years because I know what you mean, <laughs> same generation. Um, I think Byro was the first ballpoint pen made. So there you go. Cherry knows what that is as well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Nuria says, Avaga, my family respects my diaries. And they have never read them. Wow. I mean, yeah. And that's the thing. But I think it's, for me, it's nice to keep a diary because maybe down the track, maybe your kids or your grandchildren can maybe read. I mean, I'm not going to, for me, if I'm, if I'm writing a diary, I'll probably just talk about the day what happens, how I'm feeling, nothing too serious. Yeah, but I understand. I understand. Okay, bronze ale. Probably the right colour. language changes yes um, okay what is it so say that again what is it uh, you're right I just looked it up that's what it is the biro was the first ballpoint yes that was the first ballpoint pen yep yeah. Yeah. And I remember when we were in school because we used to write with the, um, you know, the lead pencil. And of course, if our writing was good enough, then we were allowed to write with the ballpoint pen. And this is when we were in primary school. Oh, cards full. Uh, that one's full as well. Um, it was not a family who read it. It was someone who had no business looking through my stuff. Oh, wow. Yes, I know, Janice. Card full. Ah, well. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Derwent's pastel pencils. See, the way I use my brushes and the way I use my brushes allows me to put quite a lot of layers. Sorry, it's not. Um, the pastel pencils that I use on my pan pastel, sorry, the pastel pencils that I use on my pan pastel layers. Uh, work beautifully because the brushes help me to uh, push the the pastel in the tooth and 
Whereas the soft tool in this case, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but please don't misunderstand me. Um, it's just that this is the technique that I need for this. The soft tool will only somehow, for, well for me it must be the way I apply pastel, but I only get the pan pastel on the surface. It doesn't sort of go right into the tooth of the paper because that's why sometimes like the tooth, like it's important to have a nice, a good mix with um, uh, paper and tools. The brushes work really well on pastel mat and on UART paper. The bristle brushes, this technique does not work so good on say the Ingress paper, the Canson Mutant, um, things like that. So just thought I'd mention that as I'm doing this. So yeah. Um, when I was at school, we had dip pens and inkwells in the desk. Oh, did you really? Did you really? Oh, that would have been really nice. Yeah, that would have been nice. Um, <laughs> used to get on my hands in uniform, big trouble, oh wow. We had ink monitors uh, whose job was to fill them every day, blotting paper, <laughs> ink bombs, oh my gosh. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we had monitors as well. Wow. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, things do change very quickly. This cent like the twentieth century, because we're in the twenty-first, of course. No. The twentieth century. There were a lot of changes, but with everything, not just writing, uh, mechanical. Do you know what I mean? Like so much. Um, uh, so much uh, mechanical, you know, I know, you know, computers, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that internet was invented, you know, like our grandchildren uh, would be laughing at us, you know what I mean, so, and it's not really all that long ago, is it, that we had internet, it was in the 90s. You know, they don't know. I remember when I used to do my projects. I used to do, like, projects at school, and I used to have to go to the library and um, uh, and gather information about things. The kids these days can go onto the internet at home and, you know, they've got their resources at their fingertips. We had to... There's a lot more work that had to go in that oh my gosh now I'm starting to talk about my age gosh well at least you know transition well didn't we <laughs> um, okay I was excited uh, okay Kathy says I was excited thinking I was selling two paintings but the person conned me <gasps> oh really you've been oh my gosh oh you oh now I know what you mean by that that's bad. You'll have to tell us what happened so we don't have the same problem. Okay, the children nowadays can't read an analog clock. Shocking. Yes. So true. That is true. Yes, I agree. 
I agree. Avigail, they don't even wear a watch. I wear a watch all the time. Some people don't wear watches. The younger kids don't wear watches. They've got their mobile phones. Yep. Oh, yeah, so many things are lost on many levels, yeah. And I, I think what probably should happen is that, you know, if we keep on doing, like keeping up with these things rather than trying to keep up with, I mean, I keep up with all the technology. I have to because I just have to uh, for the, my work. Uh, but I'm still maintaining... Um, and if I, if I could teach my kids or my grandkids stuff like that, then it'd be okay. But, yes. Okay, some of the colours that I'm using here, or the brands I'm using here, I'm using a mixture. I'm using Geoconda, I'm using Brunzel, I'm using Derwent, I'm using Faber-Castell. I'm using all kinds. So, um... Uh, it's whatever I'm just looking at colors here and what yeah Carbothellos here we go um Um, oh, okay. So, Cherry, you wear a watch? Okay. Well, Shandri says, okay, is that true? Uh, yeah. Don't the young kids learn it in that way in the Netherlands? Yeah. Okay. I wear a watch, but it is so small I can't see it. No, no. I wear the big ones. I've always liked the big faces. Not because I'm blind, but because I like the big faces. <laughs> you know what I mean when I say, you know, I just, yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I like big faces. Okay, we didn't have even calculators, but I made it. I made yeah, it did make a, yes. At school, in exam times, you're allowed to use calculators. Well, that never happened in my day, and I don't want to sound like. Bugger. Um, yeah. Oh. oh, what's happened here? It's got to be the pencil, not, not the sharpener. I know this is sharp. Um, uh, Okay, on Instagram, thought she was the real deal. I parceled up the painting, got a quote for shipping US, kept asking for email to uh, to bill her via pay PayPal, but she asked me for mine in the end. Ooh, that's a bit sus. Hmm. Oh, that's scary. But not everyone is like that, Kathy. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone is like that. But yes. Well, that's a shame. Your brain is the best calculator. Yeah, my, my daughter doesn't wear a watch. Yeah. Does my daughter wear a watch? My, my children? My, um, I don't think my children wear a watch. I think only my daughter wears it. Out of the four, one of them wear a watch, I think. Um, every time I type a, uh, a full sentence and end with an, an emoji, it just shows 
the emoji oh I don't know I don't understand what YouTube is doing yeah okay so Here we go. So I'm using the layers that's beneath what I've been doing uh, to help with my pastel pencils in getting details. It'll, I'll still be here for a while. I'm doing this, I know I will. But I'm nearly there. Okay, the person did the same thing to another artist on Instagram. We are both collaborating now to bring her down. I sent numerous nicely written messages but wouldn't answer. She's still on Instagram. Ooh. Yes, we have to be careful of things like that, hey? There'll always be someone like that. You know, there's, there's a lot of people like that, but I like to think that there isn't, but it seems like there is. Here we go. You know what's interesting? Look at this color. This color is from Geoconda. It's number 17 for those who are interested. Now, some people would, the, this is like a gray, but it's sort of like a gray blue. But can I tell you, it is similar to this turquoise. Well, well, the color of the pastel is different to that. If you're picking this up from the set, you would think that this is gray, or like a some kind of a gray. But then when you see that, it's more of a like a blue, actually. It's in between these two turquoise colors. And proof is, I'm as I'm layering them down as I'm lay, layering this down you could see so interesting I mean interesting that's all sometimes um, the colors at the end on different brands do fool you so you're always best to try them out on a bit of paper I mean I know what this color is and I use it for this not as a gray but In fact, I use this kind of pencil a lot when it comes to portraits as well. Um, you know, like the veins, you know, look, I mean, look at the veins that we have. Dreadful. But yeah, do you see what I mean? There's these veins. So, and it's very similar to this color. So I use this. Um... Okay, those of you who pray, uh, will you pray for our friend? Oh, Kayomi, she's had some bad health issues. And oh, yes, our friend Kayomi, Sarah. It's Sarah. I hope she's okay. I'm going to have a look later on. Thank you for letting us know. Yes. Let's hope she, um, lots of, um, sending lots of love. Uh, okay, off to get dressed, stay. Okay, Cheryl, thank you so much for popping by. It was so nice of you to chat with us. 
Um, we'll hope to see you next time. Here we go. Uh, what brand is that pencil? I missed it. Ah, the Geoconda. We're talking about the Geoconda. That's the pencil, Geoconda. Um, did someone say that the Geocondas are now um, open stock? Because so far um, you, you can buy them in a set of 48. Um, and I don't know whether you can buy, yes, yep, Geoconda. I don't know whether we can, um, I haven't looked to be honest, um, but I think these are great value. Uh, they're very similar to the Brunzales. In fact, I'm just, I'm curious, I wonder if it's the same company because uh, they're so similar and they feel the same. So this is what's um Okay. Okay, so oh okay Shandri, so they're ninety eighty to ninety cents each, the the geocondas. Wow, and are they are they um yes they're co coin all. That's right, Koinor. Yeah, they are Koinor, make them. There it is there, see? Koinor. Koinor. Hardmut? Is it Hardmut? Yeah. So, yes. So, I don't... I wonder... Yeah, geocondas, yeah. But um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because if I could, if I could, I would buy like a ton of these, this colour in particular. Uh, um, I love them. See, look at this. Hang on, are they similar? I'm just trying to. I don't know, I'm just trying to find I'm just trying to see if they're similar. Uh, I'm just trying to find I oh know that's bronze ale. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find I'm going to do a test. I'm going to see how close some of these pencils are. I'm pretty sure yeah, they're close. And I say it all the time.
this is the the burnt umber derwent. Slow and steady. This this color is similar. The burnt umber, the Derwent burnt umber, is very similar to um, I think it's not the one seven five, but it's the one eighty five. Um, the one eighty five. That, that's the 175. There's a, a 185 Faber Castell, which is very, very similar. In fact, I mean, this is similar anyway. So, if you're particular about colors, that is. But for me, whether, yeah, there's a 185, and I think there's a, one, a 175 and 185. I just, it's usually here next to me. It's a color that I use. Oh, here we go. A 181, sorry. There we go. Put that aside. Um, 181 Faber Castell is really, really close to the burnt umber. And I mean, even you could get away with using this 175. So let me just show you there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So if you don't have a particular. If you don't have a particular pastel pencil color and you've got it in another one you know this is a, a really good alternative um, ah. damn it I just have to have the geocondas thank you enablers no problem <laughs> now I have to add them to my wish list <laughs> You know what? They're actually not. They're quite good value. They're not as expensive as you might think. Um, Avagar says, "I have a great memory for art supplies, but I keep forgetting names of people around me. It's embarrassing." So, <laughs> yep. There we go. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to finish this off. Um, I'm going to finish this off, off stream. But because I don't think, um, yeah. I'm sure it won't take long for me to finish this, so. got a bit to go all right I think I'm going to call it a stream I think this is it for so far um, well uh, managed to do quite a bit it doesn't look like that I did but we did I've filled in all the other areas and start and building with the pumpkin as well um, and uh, so my triangle like I mentioned before my triangle that's the area which I'm going to uh, just keep on adding details but other than that um, okay looks great thank you thank you um, all right everyone thank you so much for joining in this week um, as I said, a little bit to go, but I'll see you all uh, next time. Um, 
same Chrissy channel, same Chrissy time. Uh, bye for now, everyone, and thank you for keep and, and thank you for uh, for joining in the chat. Uh, bye for now.